Okay, it took maybe just a minute and a half, but it did pair. It says your device is ready to go. But let's move it and see what happens. Nothing. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. Yeah, it's not working. And it, on the mouse, it shows it's still trying to pair. So, this has a button you press in to go to Bluetooth 2. I was on Bluetooth 1. Supposedly, you can use this. I'm guessing it's so, so you can use it with two different computers simultaneously. I believe that's what that's for. But, it's not going to work with my Bluetooth adapter, so... We'll plug in the USB receiver. I'm running out of ports. The USB receiver says Paramice on, on it, so it's smart, so you know. I figured it, I figured it was gonna work immediately with the receiver. Okay, I've seen that before. And it didn't mean anything. It didn't work, even though it said it did. So, but with a receiver, it always works. So it's just, and it is. I've got mouse control now. You can see me moving it. Ooh. Oh man, it's, it's gonna take some getting used to. I'm gonna tell you, it's very, very comfortable. No doubt about it. I've never used a vertical mouse before, but I love it. I mean, it's, I had no idea it was going to be that comfortable. I already know I'm going to have to fool with the DPI because it's all over. The... Okay, it's looking like it has three DPI settings. I picked one of them. I still went into the mouse control settings and I changed the side, the size of the, uh, cursor and adjusted the speed only adjusted each one by one one point and i'm pretty happy with it so far i gotta say I'm, I'm loving the mouse and i'm loving the keyboard what i was worried about is the function lock on the keyboard Let's see if this works because a lot of these keyboards they don't give you the ability to lock the functions let's see oh it's working now you don't now i don't have to hold down the function key to use the media controls it's got good media controls you can see the volume down and up and the mute button and it's definitely working i'm only having to hit the key one time and you got your uh, go back, your play, your pause, go forward, next track. So the uh, function lock key does work. In the previous section, I just said you wouldn't have to hold down the function key. And that's actually true because there is no function key. You are going to have to use the function lock key if you want to use the top row of the keys. So if you want to hit F2 and use it as F2, not as the brightness. You're gonna to have to hit the function lock key and then come back and hit the F2. Um, I never use the top rows of the function keys. I only use them for the media buttons, which is on the bottom row. And uh, it does have all the media buttons you need. And it is very, very comfortable. I've already gotten pretty used to it. And I am very, very happy with this keyboard. Uh, there's no number pad, but that's no big loss.